another day, another dress. Megan opts for a kiwi designer for her 24th frock of the tour, after a subtle nod to Prince Charles in a very practical raincoat from Cornwall. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are in the final days of their epic tour of Australasia, and Meghan's seemingly inexhaustible wardrobe is still going strong. In what has been a recurring theme of the trip, Meghan gave a sartorial salute to her host country with the 560 pounds white tuxedo-style dress she wore to meet actors in Wellington, New Zealand, on Monday, which was the work of Kiwi designer Maggie Marilyn. The brand bills itself as taking into consideration the ethical and environmental impact of contemporary fashion, and so chimes with some of the issues close to the Duchess' heart. Earlier, she gave a nod to her father-in-law for a more casual outing to the Awil Tasman National Park, protecting herself from the drizzle in a practical raincoat by Sea Salt, which is based in Charles and Camilla's namesake county, Cornwall and prior to that she wore a pair of Outland black jeans that have multiple outings on the tour, with a jumper by Australian brand Jack and & Jack, a Club Monica trench and a pair of lace-up Stuart Weitzman boots. The Duke and Duchess had a busy day of engagements in the Kiwi capital, starting off at the Mranui Cafe in Lyle Bay, where hundreds of fans had lined the streets in the hope of catching a glimpse of the royal newlyweds. Meghan, who has worn mostly designer labels on the tour, chose a 232 pounds AUD 420 slash dollar 297 waterfall trench by high street brand club Monaco over a warm black polo neck by Jack and Jack 545 pounds Stuart Weitzman Viruka boots and her 109 pounds AUD 199 slash dollar 141 outland denim black jeans the couple whose first baby is due next spring sat chatting to young people in the cafe at the Mranui Surf Life Saving Club, learning about various mental health projects underway in the area and the positive impact they're having on young people. Later Megan ditched her high-heeled boots in favor of a pair of Stella McCartney x Stan Smith trainers as the couple visited Abel Tasman National Park. They'd been due to attend a beach barbecue but the rain forced a change of plans. Undeterred, Harry and Megan threw on wet weather gear in the Duchess case a practical raincoat by the Cornish brand Sea Salt, to stroll hand in hand through the park. Meghan's third and final look of the day was a short white tuxedo dress by Maggie Marilyn, which had echoes of a black jacket-style dress she wore to a charity performance of Hamilton in London with Prince Harry at the end of the summer. She teamed the 520 pounds, AUD 939 slash $666 frock by the Kiwi designer with black heels and a coat by Windsor X Gillian Anderson that she previously wore to the Invictus Games closing ceremony in Sydney, to visit Courtney Creative with Harry. Harry and Meghan met with actors in colorful costumes at Courtney Creative, which runs programs aimed at young people interested in careers in film.